Hello, Leo. Sun and rising and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So, Leo, we're going to focus on your past, present, as well as your future for the next seven days. For Leo, Sun and rising and Venus for the next seven days. All right, let's see what we got, Leo. Hmm. Okay. All right, Leo. So, in the recent past, we do have the uh, Four of Wands, so the Six of Wands, and then we also have the Tower. I do want to clarify um, the Tower. It kind of looks like um, there was a connection here that was in your life, uh, Leo, in the recent past, okay? You could have been dealing with another Leo, possibly a Sagittarius, maybe even an Aries. It doesn't necessarily have to be the case, but there was a connection here uh, in the recent past that you were basically, um, involved in. However, it kind of looks like, yes, things were going really, really good here, um, between you and this person, then boom, like something happens here between you and this person. It drastically changes things. Um, I do want to look at the tower because it kind of looks like you guys went from having a very stable, um, and beautiful relationship with one another. And then boom, something happens and it just turns everything upside down. Tell me more about the uh, tower. Tell me more about the tower for Leo. Mm. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Devil, and then we also have the Ten of Swords. All right. Like I said, something happened here uh, between you and this person. And whatever happened here between you and this person, it really did turn everything upside down. It's kind of what I'm getting. I also kind of feel like whatever happened here between you and this person caused um, an ending here between you and them. But it also caused you to want to just move forward and move on with your life and head towards the new and stop trying um, to make your marriage or your relationship work here with this person is basically what I'm getting. Okay, now currently at the moment, we do have the Fool. We also have the Magician as well as the uh, Two of Swords. You know, I feel like this is you freeing yourself from this connection, but I also feel like this is you coming to terms with the fact that this is just a relationship that you have to basically let go of um, and stop trying to make work. Because I keep getting that. It kind of looks like you've been trying to make your marriage or your relationship work here with this person for quite some time, but it kind of looks like no matter how hard you try to make your marriage or your relationship relationship work here uh, with this person something always happens right I kind of feel like this moment was literally like the straw that basically broke the camel's back Leo is kind of what I'm getting but I feel like you're making peace I feel like you're making peace with the fact that it's just not going to work out here between you and this person I also kind of feel like you're making peace uh, with the fact that you tried. You try to make your marriage or your relationship work. It just kind of looks like, again, no matter how hard you tried to make your marriage or your relationship work here with this person, it just wasn't working out. But I feel like you're making peace with that. I feel like you're making peace with that. Now, with the magician coming out here, I feel like you're keeping yourself extremely busy slash occupied, okay? For some of you, you could very well be um, currently working on manifesting something that you truly want here for yourself uh, into fruition here for yourself, but I just kind of feel like moving forward, you're keeping yourself extremely busy, extremely busy. Let's look at the magician. Tell you more about the magician. Yeah, you're keeping yourself extremely busy moving forward here. Um, you're very determined to manifest something that you've been wanting here for yourself um, into fruition for quite some time is kind of what I'm getting. So for some of you, you could very well be trying to manifest that dream job, that business you've always wanted, that house you've always wanted, that car you've always wanted. Like right now, you're just in full-blown manifestation mode. Right now, you're just laser focused on the things that you want to accomplish and achieve for yourself is basically what I'm getting. Like I said, you're definitely keeping yourself extremely busy slash occupied moving forward. And I do kind of feel like that is kind of helping you uh, when it comes down to this ending that occurred here between you and this person. Because I feel like you were extremely affected by this ending here that occurred between you and this person. But I feel like you're not really even giving yourself time to even think or even fully process this ending here that transpired between you and this person. You're just keeping it moving. Um, and you're shifting your focus on to something that you've been wanting to accomplish and or achieve for yourself for quite some time now and again it could very well be you trying to manifest that dream job uh, manifest that promotion manifest that dream house you've always wanted or that car you've always wanted you know things of that nature but in the near future we got the ten of pentacles we got the knight of wands and then we also have the page 
of cups. I kind of feel like somebody's showing up here for you um, out of nowhere. And it could very well be the person that you recently decided to end things with. But I feel like somebody's showing up here for you out of nowhere. I am kind of getting an apology coming from whoever this person is. Let's look a little bit more into this person. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. All right, we got the Knight of Wands. Okay, to the Four of Pentacles. And then we also have the Hierophant. Interesting. Whoever this person is, it does feel like the person that you recently decided to kind of end things with. It kind of looks like they've been keeping their distance from you since this ending occurred here between you and them. Um, I feel like they've been trying their hardest to respect how you feel in this decision of yours because it kind of looks like you were the one that actually came here came in and initiated this ending here with them and it kind of looks like they've been trying to respect that for quite some time now they've been trying to respect that um and how you feel and what you want to do with your life moving forward because it kind of looks like right now what you want to do with your life moving forward is just solely focus on you and the things that you want to manifest into fruition here for yourself and like i said i feel like they've been kind of staying away trying their hardest to just kind of respect how you feel and how you want to move forward here uh with your life which is clearly without them in it is kind of what i'm getting primarily however they're breaking their silence here they're breaking their silence here let's look at the page of cups so I'm more about the page of cups, page of cups to the seven of wands. And then we also have the eight of cups. This is interesting because I feel like this person, yes, they are resurfacing back up here for you, but it's the way that they're going about this entire situation that I find to be very, very interesting. It's like they're resurfacing back up here for you um, with this overall energy of like, hey, listen, Leo, like I'm just, I'm just calling you. I'm just texting you because I just wanted to say that. You know, I'm really sorry for what I did. I'm really sorry for what I said. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done that. And I just, I just thought I'd let you know, okay? Um, let, let, let's be honest, you guys. Let's just be honest this morning, okay? Let's just, let's just be honest this morning. I kind of feel like not only are they sorry, but they want you back in their life. I just kind of feel like initially at first, they're not going to make it seem like the reason why they're calling you or the reason why they're texting you is because they want you back, but they want you back. You know they want you back. Um, let's look at the Ten of Pentacles. I'm kind of curious how you're going to respond and react to this person, but tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. They secretly want you back. They secretly want you back. Ah, they secretly want you back. But are they going to, like I said, are they going to make it seem like that's the reason why they're calling you or that's the reason why they're texting you? No. It kind of looks like all they're going to do is resurface back up here for you and hit you with the, hey, listen, the only reason why I'm calling you or texting you is because I just I just wanted to say that I'm sorry, you know, for what I said and for what I did. You didn't deserve that from me, you know, things of that nature. But secretly, this person, they want you back. But they have this massive fear that you're just going to turn around and reject them. They have this massive fear that you don't basically want anything to do with them. I also kind of feel like this person's under the impression um, that you're still kind of hung up on whatever it is that they said and or did to the point where they kind of feel like you're never going to turn around and forgive them uh, for whatever it is that they said and or did. They also kind of feel like you're not going to turn around and take them back. But they secretly want you back. They just kind of feel like because of whatever it is that they said and or did, the likelihood of you taking them back is kind of like at an all-time low is kind of what I'm getting here off of this person's overall energy. Let's see how you're going to respond and react to this. How is Leo going to respond and react to this person's return? Oh, Jesus. Well, there goes that seven of swords with the hair font to the eight of cups. Here's one thing that I will say about you, Leo, which I'm, I'm really glad that we have this, this combo out here, uh, believe it or not. Do I see you taking this person back? No, but that's mainly because, you know, you know yourself well enough to know um, that if you were to get back with this person, you wouldn't be able to trust them. You wouldn't be able to trust them. And trust is very, very big for you. So with that being said, do I see you getting back with them? No, I do not. But one thing that I absolutely love about you, Leo, is that you are finding in your heart to forgive this person for whatever it is that they said and or did. You're not harnessing any sort of anger, or any sort of resentment towards them in regards to whatever it is that they may have said and or did to cause this relationship to go south here between you and this person. You are being the bigger person here in this entire situation um, by finding in your heart to forgive this person 
and let this person go. Because like I said, you know yourself very, very well to the point where you know if you were to get back with this person, um, how it's gonna make you feel. It's gonna make you feel like you can't trust them. It's gonna make you feel like you have to constantly look over your shoulder here when it comes down to this one. So with all of that being said, I kind of feel like they're right. I kind of feel like this person is right. Like I said, whatever it is that they said and or did, they kind of feel like you're not gonna take them back because of whatever it is that they said and or did. They kind of feel like you're just gonna turn around and reject them and I kind of see you doing just that. I kind of see you doing just that, Leo. What else can you tell me? We have the Five of Cups, we have the Empress, and then we also have the Seven of Cups. <sighs> Leo, 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 Leo. I kind of feel like you're not going to really bother with love for a little while is kind of what I'm getting. You're not going to really bother with love for a little while. And I just I just kind of feel like it has a lot to do with your experience here with this person. It taught you a whole lot. Don't get me wrong with the hair font coming out here. It did teach you a whole lot. It did teach you a whole lot. Um, it did teach you a whole lot. You learned a lot uh, dealing with this person in particular. But as far as like love is concerned, like, yes, I do see you being presented with a shitload of options, which makes sense. I mean, you are showing up as an empress and an empress is basically all that and a bag of chips. So it makes sense as to why, you know, moving forward, you're going to be presented with a lot of options in love. I just don't, I don't see you interested in it. I gotta be honest. I don't see you interested in it. It just kind of looks like you just want to kind of do you for a little while and kind of put love on the back burner and just kind of focus on you and the things that you want to accomplish and achieve for yourself. Because it kind of looks like you've been wanting to accomplish and achieve something for yourself for a very, very long time. Um, maybe you put this thing that you wanted to accomplish and or achieve for yourself on the back burner. Maybe it had a lot to do with your relationship with this person, but right now you just kind of want to focus on you and whatever this thing is that you want to accomplish and achieve for yourself because it kind of looks like you put whatever this thing is on the back burner and it could have a lot to do with the fact that you were under a lot of stress dealing with this one or you were going through a lot dealing with this one or maybe you were making this one your main focus slash priority to the point where you kind of lost sight of this thing that you've been wanting to accomplish and achieve for yourself leo but Yes, I do see a shitload of options presenting itself to you in the near future. I just don't feel like you're going to be in the mood for it or interested is kind of what I'm getting. I also kind of feel like you have a lot of questions for this person. A lot of questions for this person. Like, why did you do this to me? Why did you do that to me? I was nothing but good to you. Why did you do this to me? I don't understand. Why did you do this to me? Why did you do this to me? I was nothing but good to you. Why? 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 Um, you know what's interesting, though, is that even though I see you having a lot of questions, I don't see you asking them. I don't see you asking them, why did they do what they did? And maybe you kind of feel like, you know, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter why they did what they did. You know what I mean? Um, because it's not like they can go back into time and undo what they did, right? But I, I do feel like you have a lot of questions. Like, why did you do this to me? Why did you do that to me? I was nothing but good to you. I didn't deserve this from you. Why did you do this? Why did you do this? Um, I don't. I don't even see you asking them, like, why? Like, why did they do this? I don't even see you doing that. But I feel like at times you tend to wonder, like, man, like, why do they do this to me? Like, I was nothing but good to them. Like, what the hell, you know? Um, listen, they're going to come back around your way. That's kind of besides the point here. They are going to come back around your way and they are going to apologize to you. Um, like I said, they're going to make it seem like they're just here to apologize to you and, and tell you, you know, that they're sorry and that, you know, you didn't deserve that from them, you know, things of that nature. But deep down inside, what they really, really want is to get back with you. They just kind of feel like you're not going to take them back. Not after this. That's basically what I'm getting. Let's pull a romance angel card. Mm. We have to give your relationship a chance, but it came out in the reverse. And it's basically on top of the high priestess to the four of cups to the seven of swords, which was the overall energy that I was describing as far as them kind of feeling like you're not going to take them back. Not after this. All right, so we have give your relationship a chance in the reverse, and then we also have it safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. 
here's the thing. You know, I kind of feel like this person kind of knows the likelihood of you taking them back is at an all-time low, but they know roughly what they would have to kind of do on their end to potentially, you know what I mean, get you back. And that would kind of require them to make you feel safe and secure all over again with them. That would require them to... Um, rebuild trust with you all over again, you know, things of that nature. But I'm gonna be honest, just with your overall energy alone, it doesn't look like revisiting this connection is something that you want to do. Um, it just kind of looks like, you know, walking away is, is what you want to do here uh, from this point on. So with that being said, it, it kind of looks like it's done for now between you and this person. Granted, who knows, maybe, you know, a few months from now, you might have all of a sudden change of heart, maybe. Um, I'm not saying that you will, but maybe you will, you know, or maybe you won't, but it just kind of looks like you're finally deciding to do what you feel as though is best for you, even though doing what's best for you in this specific situation, it is kind of hard, mainly because there is a very strong and intense emotional attachment here, but you're still doing what's best for you either which way, and I do love the fact that Regardless of what this person put you through, you're finding it in your heart to forgive them because you know how important it is to forgive people because it's not for them. It really is for you. So moving forward, no anger, no resentment, um, you know, coming from your side at all towards this person, which is really, really nice to see. But as far as you taking them back is concerned, yeah, no, I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening, you guys. I just don't see that happening for now anyways, all right? So that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.